Let's say we want to estimate the height of an apple tree by counting how long it takes for an apple to fall from its tallest branch. How do we do that? Well, we can use the distance formula. When we first start calculating distance traveled from motion, we use the formula velocity times time. But when an object is accelerating, we need to take that into account as well. We do that by multiplying the acceleration rate by time squared. Acceleration is distance over time squared, so we need to multiply it by time squared to get a distance. The one-half term comes from calculus, and that can be explained later. So, if we count that it takes one second for the apple to fall to the ground, and we approximate the acceleration due to gravity as 32 feet per second squared, we can input those figures to estimate the height of the tree. First, the velocity term is zero, because the apple starts off with a zero velocity. Then we have the acceleration term, which is one half times 32 feet per second squared, times one squared, which multiplies out to 16 feet. So, we can estimate the height of the tree at about 16 feet.